And a hero's welcome to Dan. He's here in the studio with us this morning. Big fella. Look how heavy I'm born. It's the hero of Hindra you're being done. Can you believe the fuss? No, it's ridiculous. <laughs> it's absolutely ridiculous. Like, all I was trying to do was a good thing and help a mate out. And yep. pff, look, look what it's turned out to be like. Yep. Mate, I'm glad I've turned my phone off at the moment because it won't stop ringing. That's amazing. <laughs> um, we heard your story yesterday, but can you tell it to us one more time now that you're here in the studio? Yeah, no, that's sweet. Well, I was lying in bed sleeping and, mate, the, the, the real hero here is my partner because she's mm. the one that woke me up. If she didn't wake me up, I wouldn't be a superstar. Uh, what did she do? Uh, she, she, do? she come in and she said, oh, the, the, someone crashed into the shop and I, I, I said, really? And I've jumped out of bed and uh, I go to my drawer and I grab two shirts up before I even grabbed a pair of jocks to put on. Right. I chucked a pair of jocks so on. So you were buck naked in yeah, bed yeah, 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 and well, you had to, you had to I, change I, like Superman. Yeah, yeah. And then yeah. I end up putting my jocks on back to front and I'm just like, <laughs> <"Man, save laughs> <it." laughs> And then I've uh, walked outside and I've seen old mate walking back to the car like he'd already fleed the scene and, th and then he's walking back to the car. Right. And, and, and and I've uh, walked out and I've seen him walk into the car uh, and scrambling around in the back to see what was in the back of the car. And I'm like, oi, what are you doing, mate? He's like, oh, I fell asleep on the wheel. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, you're right, mate, you're right. But, oh, uh, there's things I could say about that, but that's another story for another day. <laughs> and, uh, and then he started walking up the road and I said, where you going, mate? The, 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 you can't be walking away, the, the police are on their way. And he goes, he goes, no, nah, I'm right, mate. And, no, you're not right, mate. And I'm following, he goes, don't be a hero, mate. <laughs> mate, I'm not trying to be a hero, but you've just crashed into me mate's mum's shop and you're trying to walk away from it? Wake up, mate. But hang, wait, can I just be a woman here? Yep. Were you, did you at any point think, hang on, I sh maybe I shouldn't get involved in this? Like, nah, because I, I had me Jimmy bar, and like, you mess with oh. me, you mess with Jimmy. Oh, oh, so you had uh, an iron bar with you as yeah, well. Yeah, that was in the car, so if he ever tried coming near me... Yeah, yeah. Well, well, not well, mate, not okay. The old persuader <laughs> you had with you. And also, it's not just in his shop. No, it's no. It's your mate's shop. It's your mate's mum's shop. Be, the, the best coffee in the world. You won't drink coffee from anywhere else except that shop, will you? No, nah, yeah, mate. Oh, well, that's just the way it is. It's, mate, it's, uh, it, it's, it's, it's a good fish and chip shop. Like, it's... My mate's mum's had it for over 40 odd years right. mm. and uh, she's never really had anything bad happen right. to that shop and pff, oh, I just don't see, oh, I can't comprehend how he's just done it. Like, yeah. uh, you, Dan, you do have the gift of the gab. Did you know this before you went viral across the nation? No. Nah. Has everyone always thought you were funny at, at parties and stuff? Well, I'm a joke, but... That's life. <laughs> no, but you're, no, but you're very plain speaking. We love it. Yeah, you just say it like it is. Yeah, yeah. And, well, and there's, is, that, there, there, is that what you do, you've always yeah, done? Yeah. Well, that? there's no need to beat around the bush, mate. Like no. you get to the point, you tell it how it is, and that's that's all I do. Is oh, 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 I told the story how it was, and everyone just seems to laugh at me because. Mate, I run around in my jocks. No, we laugh, we're laughing with you. <laughs> yeah, and no, I no, like the no, Bob no. Marley jammies as well. Thank you, but I, I, <laughs> I, I do need to say something. I, I, I was absolutely gutted yesterday when I was uh, looking on my Facebook and, and um, pff, everyone was trying to diss uh, that Michelle Tapper for doing that interview with me yesterday morning. Right. Mate, I, I did not see one bad thing about about her oh. interview. Oh, wait, I just thought it was gold. Yeah, like, she's absolutely a lovely gold. lady, isn't like, she? And you've got to know her. Mate, and mate. She's a great lady. <laughs> So, yeah. so you've got you've gone viral now. Absolutely um, ridiculous. And you've got you've got four kids, another one on the way. Yeah, yeah. Well, everyone found out yesterday, and we my know partner didn't even tell everyone. We know. <laughs> <laughs> now the world knows. <laughs> well, you're not meant to say that yet. No, well, she told me before I left to come to any yesterday. She's like, oh. I haven't told anyone. <laughs> now you've told the world. <laughs> but, but you are you are in the entertainment industry though as well, don't you? So everyone's saying you got the gift of the gab, but that's your job at, at Royal Easter shows and yeah, things well, like that, don't you? I used to be a bloody good robber. Like I, 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 I worked on the showgrounds for over ten years. Explain to them what you mean by and, bloody uh, robber. Yeah, yeah. Well, a bloody good robber, well, I work good old Sideshow well, Alley where you chuck a ball in the bucket and the ball keeps bouncing out, but I'm more than happy to keep taking your money. <laughs> <laughs> so, like... Does anyone ever win the ball in the bucket? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Does anyone ever get the big toys at the top? Yeah, yeah, really? It, it really is possible. <laughs> You've just well, you've just got to use common sense, mate. Well, and, and here's another line for the sales pitch inside Show Alley. Hey, 
you know, come here, I'll chase you in my undies. Yeah, oh, give it's it a, a go. Perfect yeah, line. Come yeah. on over. That's right. <laughs> so, no, I was going to say, with the four ki- you've got four kids, and how are they? Are, how old are they? are they? Do they know you're a superhero that you've gone viral? Yeah, then? yeah. Oh, mate, mate. Well, I picked the kids up from the school. Yes, they are. They like my kids go to Hendra Primary School. And there's only like 60 kids in the whole school from prep to grade six. Right. And I, I rocked up to school yesterday and everyone's like, oh, can I have your autograph? <laughs> and I'm just like, yeah, right, eh, mate. <laughs> Did you sign them? No. Nah. Oh, <laughs> come not? on, Dan. No, well, I'll give you a selfie. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's, that's, that's better than an autograph, oh, mate. Uh, an, an, an autograph can get wet and then you ain't got me autograph yeah. no more. Look, everyone's call, calling you the sort of a modern day crocodile Dundee. I just call uh, myself Daniel. <laughs> Calls for being Australian of the Year. Yeah, as yeah, well. mate, mate, and I'll tell you something else. Um, um, sports bet. <laughs> they, they, they've even got me on for a oh. bravery award and to be Premier of Queensland. <laughs> <laughs> and I think that's a joke on its own. And, and <laughs> what would be your first rule as Premier of Queensland? Uh, your Premier, what would you do? <laughs> I wouldn't do it. Because <laughs> you had the sports bet cap on. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, and I was sitting on me cart in the beer yesterday. And, oh, mate, it tasted good. I even brought a six-pack down from Brisbane so I could have a, a beer in the, in the Mercura Resort last night. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? You won't drink New South Wales beer? No, nah, well, it's organic beer, mate. I only drink organic beer because the doctors say is anything organic right? is good for you. So oh, this beer's got to really? be good for you. Yeah. Oh, you're, you're a fascinating <laughs> man, Dan, so you only get organic. No, no, I only drink, I don't organic. drink organic beer. No, no. Well, it's it's like food, the organic beer. Anyhow, are you a bit of a health nut? Nah. Oh. So why the organic beer? Because it's different. Queenslanders right. are uh, very pernickety it's... about their beer. But I, I know, you usually no, it's no, for no, it. No, 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 Right. But uh, yeah, it's, it's like the, the, the Williams. You could Williams. have got that here. <laughs> yeah, so is but... it safe to say that you are enjoying your 15 minutes? Oh, <laughs> it's, it's more than 15 minutes. <laughs> 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 Mate, a great job. You've made us smile as well oh, for the last 24 self-smile. hours. <laughs> we love it. We think... You, you are a huge Hendra hero. Uh, and I'll, so many people think that is the case. And in case you need uh, another daring dash in your undies, Aussie bum have kitted you out in undies, I think, for here to, to never. So, Dan, look at those, look at those undies. Oh, Hold sweet. them up to the camera, Dan. They're pretty snappy. Sweet, man. <laughs> <laughs> A six pack of Aussie bum undies. So, so that'll keep you going. Good old sunrise uh, hat. There we go. Sunrise hat. Uh, because well, the last person. Sweet. Aussie bum. <laughs> but I'm not a bum. Uh, yeah, the last person to get a hat like that was Oprah. Oh, mate. So you're in great company. Oh, no, well, I'm with you, so I am in great company. <laughs> oh, oh, thank that's you. Nice. And listen, because we love you and your family, we just you, you really have brought a smile to our faces. Yeah. Our mates at Flight Centre yep. are going to look after you. They're going to treat you and the family to five nights on the Gold Coast, staying in a three-bedroom apartment, uh, a little holiday. Oh, just for making us so smile yeah. uh, and for being being such a good Aussie. Well, well, uh, I'm going to have to rub me me partner's feet for this because <laughs> if she didn't wake me up, yes. I wouldn't be famous. <laughs> well, I, I did say I wouldn't be famous. I if think a foot massage is in order. So, and, and a belly rub too. Like, yeah. Rub that, rub that coconut oil into the belly. <laughs> like. <laughs> Right, so, <laughs> so is that a sure thing to her heart, rubbing her feet? Is that yeah? Well, she's uh, pregnant. Man, I, well, 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 I don't do it that often. Like, right. mate, pff, once every six months. Yeah, yeah, no. But, but, but I always want a back rub, but uh, I right. fall asleep too early. So. <laughs> she says, "Oh, I'll give you a rub," but I, I fell asleep. Thank God knows. <laughs> she says, "I'll give it a rub." Dad, <laughs> you're a classic. So nice to meet you. Thanks for coming in. And enjoy that.